We are going to go over farming Shroud Cores in Enshrouded. This has actually changed since I first started playing it during the Early Access. It actually probably maybe say a few incorrect things during the series. So hopefully by including this a little earlier than maybe I would have expected in the playlist, this will clear some things up. First one that we can get is actually within the Elixir Well, which was the same during the re-release period where I was allowed to play. However, instead of it dropping from the Shroud Roots, which is what it used to do, it now drops drops from the boss in here so we're going to go ahead defeat that so we can pick one up just so you guys can see once you have the glider and especially if you've unlocked double jump actually very easy for us to effectively glide straight on in here and barely even have to interact with any of the enemies which is kind of favorable to what we want to be doing as that is basically going to allow us to run straight on in make our way down to the bottom of the well where we can fight the Thunder Brute if you are struggling with it. Bring a wand. He's pretty susceptible to range damage. So you can take him down pretty nicely with the wand or even use the bow. And then we can collect our Shroud Core. You could go ahead and chop this down and fast travel back to the base. Or you could also simply exit the game. Return into your game. This will cause you to spawn at your last rested at altar. And then we can go on in and do it again. I'm going to go ahead and do that now just so you guys can see. There we are. Second Fell Brute down. And you can see see in my inventory now that we have well actually four shroud cores because i've just been obviously messing around with this three heads so you can do this as much as you want as you can see we actually don't need to chop that tree down because we don't get anything out of it which brings me to finding a faster spot for anybody that's even slightly further on and is probably slightly safer as well this is going to be the mistberry catacombs you're going to get sent here anyway for the shield that i'm currently using and i actually already have a walkthrough for that finished that's probably going to be out later on today from when you're watching this video so all you'll need to do is set yourself a home there so that we can fast travel there and be able to respawn there in between runs and once inside yes we'll need to be slightly careful of some of the other enemies but clear your way through and you'll have access to the ghost looking enemies up here i guess these are ghosts or wraiths or something like this could even be lice or whites and these will also drop you the cores as well. And there are, in fact, two of them in here. We can go over to the left, get a second one, which means that we can get two per run instead of one. The main downside to the Mistberry Catacombs, then, is that it will take some lockpicks to keep on running it. So you may need to get yourself some extra metal scraps. But either way, that's two good spots to get yourself Shroud cores. You should be able to get as many as you want as quickly as you want. So hopefully that helps you out. And I'll catch you all in the next video.